Nuclear waste is really all the things that come from nuclear power or nuclear weapons. We can't leave it near people because exposure to it could result in cancer or death. Will this lead to some kind of contamination at some point in time in the future? And those futures end up being really far out, often beyond societal imagination. A lot of the questions around nuclear tend to be questions about the future. The half-life of plutonium is 24,100 years. We consider something gone after 10 half-lives. So 240,000 years. How are we going to design a system that's going to be safe from those kinds of timescales? I sometimes think it's just an impossible task. But we have this nuclear waste, so we have no choice. We have to figure out something to do with it. This facility is not here because we're in the middle of a desert and you're away from people or all the things that you might think. This site is here simply because there is a salt, bedded salt member that is just almost unique in the North American continent because of the way it was bedded and laid down and because of its depth. Three to 4,000 continuous feet of salt are about 900 feet below us. Behind me is um, basically the legacy of the Cold War between the Soviet Union and, uh, and, the, and the Free West. We produced, I think, close to 30,000 weapons, warheads, and there's lots of plutonium and other fissile materials that are left over from the production of those weapons. Someone has to take care of it, and someone needs to isolate it. And that's what this facility is for. Congress specified they cannot build the waste isolation pilot plant until a plausible marking system was established that for 10,000 years would warn of the danger at this site. You have been nominated to participate in a study of civilization's future. Digging or drilling into the site could bring radioactivity to the surface. You will identify what kinds of markers should be placed at the waste site to deter humans from accidentally entering. 
It's a leap to imagine walking, talking, living people 500, 5,000, 10,000 years from now. But the future will come. We can't stop there being a 10,000 years from now. And that stuff will still be there and will still be dangerous. Standing stones mark an area once used to bury radioactive wastes. Do not dig here. Do not drill here. These markers were designed to last 10,000 years. <laughs> <laughs> 